Hey YouTube, it's Growly. I'm here with a, a long overdue uh, update on the Harlequins, on the progress on the paint station. Uh, since doing the uh, the last video, uh, I've not had much time for uh, for hobby stuff and sitting down and painting. But over the last week or so, I have uh, made a start. What I've got is one of these fellas to begin with. So we're doing it with the, um, the mask of the uh, Twilight Rainbows colour scheme. Uh, for what you can see he's got rainbow pants on. But for the Death Jester there's the, uh, the black and white check on the back of the cloak there. There's still a few more details, some, um, some edge highlights and I've got to do the, the gem on his belt yet. Um, but he's not that far from finished. I'll, uh, I'll be able to get him done fairly quickly. But I also have second Death Jester. So move that out of the way. So this one is uh, is slightly different. As you can see, I've done the the diamond pattern on his uh, his pants and his um, his collar. I couldn't think what it was called then. Not a hood, a collar, and. The back of the uh, the cloak is going to be a rainbow effect on there, uh, so that's been that took a, a while doing tiny tiny diamonds, and uh, I think when I, I posted a picture on uh, on Facebook of the progress, uh, one of the comments from Big Mac Dan School is these diamonds are getting smaller, uh, and they are. Um, the fact that there's so many more diamonds that are all kind of shaded and highlighted to, to make them look a little bit more 3D. It takes an awful lot of time uh, just to do a diamond pattern. Um, so that's two, uh, two Death Jesters. We've also got this one. I just started blocking in colours on the Shadow Seer. Um, and so we're going to have the, uh, the blue and yellow uh, sleeves and leg and the pink and purple sleeves and leg uh, opposite diagonals um, not quite sure I think they, they do the hood and all these banners and streamers in the uh, the rainbow effect that I've been doing and uh, obviously there's a lot more kind of tiny little details that I need to pick up on and so this one is, uh, is basically, basically just blocking in the colours and uh, just gives me a little bit of distraction from tiny diamonds at the moment on the Death Jesters. So that's it. I also have, as I said, this is a, a new addition to the Harley Quinn army. is in a pair of these things. Uh, so they've got to be built and painted up. And once I've done them, I'll have... Um, Move these down where you can see them. I'll have pretty much the uh, the Harley Quinn as a as a detachment, Mrs. Growley's little army, uh, and I'm going to get onto uh, some more BL Tan. I say it was uh, looking at some of the the stuff that's come out for the um, the storyline on 40k. Uh, and all the fall of Cadia and all the rest of it. The second part of it seems to be something with uh, Eldar and something's happening, uh, specifically Beltan. So I don't know how the uh, the craft world's going to uh, evolve, whether something's going to happen with uh, Beltan involved with uh, an Eldar fighting the, uh, the chaos that's coming through the Eye of Terror that's uh, already taken Cadia down. We shall see. Uh, whatever the case, I'm not repainting on my BL Town with a different colour scheme. You know, if, if Games Workshop decide that uh, BL Town is no more, I'm still going to paint BL Town. Uh, it's my, my favourite craft world and my favourite colour scheme. Even though green and white is tedious to paint, uh, it is quite nice. Anyway, I shall leave that here for now. We shall. Uh, uh, come back, hopefully not quite as long with another update from uh, what's on the paint station. Uh, next time you see these uh, three fellas, hopefully they're they're finished, and I'm moving on to the uh, 
the sky weavers uh, and getting them done and then back onto bail time. Alright, so as always, for now, take care from Grotley's Lair.